hi in this video we will see how to download and install itunes on windows 10 computer so at first we need to open any browser i'm going to use chrome browser but it's your own wish to use either chrome or some other browser like firefox or opera once you open the browser then go to google.com and once you are in the google page then inside the search box just type itunes download so i'm going to uh, type that iTunes then download and then hit enter key of your keyboard and then you will find this type of page and from here uh, you will see uh, iTunes go to download link or also if you uh, scroll down a little bit you can also see uh, the direct download link of iTunes okay so we can go this page go to downloads and then it will come to the Apple website uh, where you can download the iTunes so when you try to download it will give you a couple of options so one option is you can directly uh, download it from Microsoft Store or there is another option uh, this is the direct uh, download link option uh, basically I like this option to download because it's easy and faster okay so here in this space so once you are in this space you have to just scroll down a little bit and you will find uh, there are a couple of options like mac os or windows so we are using windows so we have to choose this windows option to download the itunes and here uh, there is a link windows system requirements here if you go there it will show you what are the requirements to uh, install or download uh, this itunes on your uh, windows computer okay so we are not going there i am going to click this thing uh, windows and once i click windows then it will come this page download the latest version for windows and there are two options basically uh, download itunes for windows now 64 bit so if your computer is 64 bit uh, computer then you have to use this otherwise if your computer is 32 bit version uh, windows then you have to uh, download from here so my computer is 64 bit that's why i'm going to use this link to download it so just click there and it will start downloading very shortly and here you will uh, get the message uh, thanks for downloading itunes and in the down uh, you will see uh, the itunes setup easy is going to download okay and uh, here you will see the total size and how many minutes it require to download so i see here it has uh, 191 megabyte i can say like 200 megabyte and it is showing me the time it completes so once it's complete download then we have to go to the download location to start the installation so let's and wait for the download and once we complete the download then we will go to the download location so for my case i see still uh, another 10 seconds are remaining uh, to complete the download okay so let's go to the download location so once the download is finished then we have to go to the download location so for my case the download location is on the uh, downloads folder so i just click over there and then after that it opened like this thing okay so here we see there are many menus so downloads so i'm going here most of the computers the download location is here but in your case uh, the downloads are located some other folder just go to that folder so once you are in that folder like downloads folder then you will find that itunes setup.exe okay and this is a 64 bit uh, operating system that's why it is showing 64 bit okay so here you will see uh, that uh, application exe file i mean the software exe file from where we can uh, install the itunes okay we just downloaded itunes right now okay and it has uh, like this size okay so to start downloading what we can do uh, we can just double click on top of it or we can right click and then we can choose the open option okay once we click open then it will start opening the installer and uh, it will give us the steps to install itunes on our computer okay we can minimize this thing we don't need it anymore so i'm going to minimize this and then here we are seeing this thing and we can also minimize this thing okay so this is the main screen to install itunes so i'm going to hit uh, next button and then it is giving me option so add itunes shortcut on my desktop use itunes as the default player for audio file automatically update itunes and other apple software based on your requirement you can do but i am uh, keeping everything default and then uh, there is another option from uh, like the folder where you want to install it so right now it's the default location uh, this one 
but if you prefer to install other location you can also do from this change so i'm going to hit install button to start the installation of itunes so i just click over there and it will prompt me uh, this type of thing do you allow this app to make changes on your device we have to choose yes and then we have to keep waiting uh, for few seconds to few minutes okay till it finish everything once installation is complete then you'll find this type of confirmation message and this type of message itunes has been successfully installed on your computer now just click on the finish button to complete the installation once the installation is complete then if you want to open uh, itunes then just go to the search box and then type itunes over there and then you'll find itunes app is there and just uh, click on top of it and then it will start opening uh, itunes very shortly it will take some time at the beginning but later you will see uh, the performance is much faster when you will open itunes for the first time generally it will ask you to agree the terms and conditions okay so we are going to click this agree button uh, it will not ask later only for the first time it will ask and then wait few more seconds uh, to load the application i mean the itunes application on your windows computer and here it is so in this way we can easily actually uh, download itunes from apple website and then after that we can uh, install it easily thank you for watching if this video is helpful or useful for you please consider subscribing to our channel